Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from Akash Singh. Hmm. Okay. Akash. Yes. Yeah, man. Funny, dude. Very funny. What Very funny. What we got? This is uh, his new special, Gaslit. Okay. Okay. Gaslit. Gaslit. Okay, man. We well, must be on fire with jokes. Ah. ah. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dancers come out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so fucking much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Give it up for UTD Lux on the dance. Okay. Super, you don't give a fuck about me at all, huh? That was crazy. Had her feet on the steps, like, impress me. That didn't impress you, y'all? You just sitting here, playing <laughs> casual. Are you okay, miss? What's your deal? It's just terrible posture, whole body language. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, it just it seems like you're very unimpressed with everything that's happening right now. And I, maybe I'm being insecure, but I really do kind of feel like, this girl hates me, this is crazy. Why did she sit up front to hate me? That's crazy. How old are you? 16. 16. Not talking to you no more, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you guys are adorable together. How did y'all meet? Dating app. Which one? Muzmatch. Muzmatch? Muz. Muz. I'm not white. What'd you say? She's not white? That's what they all say. <laughs> you sneaky bitch. If you're not not white, what are you? Pakistan, get the fuck out of here! Stand up! Stand up for the people! Stand up! Stand up! Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she had a Dallas Cowboy jersey. <laughs> Daywalker. <laughs> A bitch blade, bro. Wow, 9 11 was comfy for you. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dog. She was probably with the white people, like, get him. <laughs> Blending in. That's crazy. You're Pakistani. What's your name? Is it Faiza? Faiza? Pakistani as fuck. <laughs> Got the Z in the middle and everything. <laughs> Hey man, respect, you know what I mean? Because you clearly wanted a white girl, but you didn't want to disappoint your parents. <laughs> so you just did the next best thing, you know what I mean? Respect, y'all, respect. Motherfucking respect, bro. I'm not proud of you, y'all. Wow, dude. Your parents have met her, I assume, right? Yeah, I knew, I knew. You, you ain't waiting, no, you're married. Oh, you didn't waste no time. <laughs> So you just got married. That's beautiful, man. I love that. Y'all had the proper Desi wedding? Yeah. You just getting out of that? Probably got PTSD still. <laughs> That's, bro, I'm so happy I married a brown woman. But that, that wedding, I wish we did a white wedding. That shit was... <laughs> white weddings, wonderfully simple to plan. You know what I mean? They get married in like a fucking farm. There's 12 guests because they don't love their families. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and they barely believe in God, so their friend just becomes a minister on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you could have an entire white wedding for the price of a fucking IHOP breakfast. <laughs> two Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruities, the same, same to same, you know? <laughs> Indian wedding, Daisy wedding, Pakistani wedding, oh my god, bruh. We got motherfucking wildlife roaming around. Is... 
two of the four Disney kingdoms in one hotel venue. Man, my wife was getting so mad because I wasn't planning, and I was like, of course not. This wedding is for you. Don't get it twisted. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I can wait to spend the rest of my money on a get-together. And she would always hit me with the same line. You don't get it, babe. I've been dreaming of this day since I was three years old. <laughs> okay. Should be pretty easy to plan then, shouldn't it? I feel like... <laughs> 25 years you've been thinking about this. You ain't figured it out yet? Should be plug and play at this point. Quarter century of planning. Fuck you been doing? I hate that. Well, I've been dreaming this day since I was... Well, you know what? Since I was three years old, I dreamt of being in the NBA. <laughs> I don't see you rushing to run out Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Invite all our friends and family over so I can dunk on them for three and a half hours. I know we would have to lower the rim considerably. <laughs> yeah. I still like to do it. This is a good guy, I can tell. What do you do for a living? Probably make money. Hotels? I don't Hotel. you. Oh, the good Jews got the good seats, huh? Look at that. Good drop, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What else could it possibly be? What's your last name? Is it Patel? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I know, I know. I know. So many of you said hotels, the rest of it just felt like dominoes. Good you, there you go. How'd y'all meet? Oh, at their wedding. So you guys know each other. My sister. And how did y'all meet? The source. Her it was arranged marriage. I fucking love that. Let's go. Arranged marriage. Let's go. I like you more. You just, you just climbed up the charts for me. There you go, bro. Good for you. Why y'all not clapping at that, losers? Nah, that now is phony. I want you to remember this moment. This is a watershed moment because now you know we let America brainwash us about arranged marriage. We all bought into that propaganda. Oh, that's so barbaric. How do you marry someone before you get to know them? How do you marry somebody after? <laughs> that's a much better question, I think. Dating sucks, dude. That whole system is stupid. Arranged marriage is the best. I only dated one woman my entire life, and thank God I married her, because I could not do that again, yo. I could not. Ugh, all of it was awful. You know my least favorite part of dating? The fights. She would storm out of my apartment, I'd be falling apart. Texting her. <laughs> Ugh. Are we gonna make it? <laughs> it's embarrassing, dude. It was so pathetic. But I had to, because there's no security. Any fight could cost me this amazing woman. So I gotta say all that. I can't sleep when you're mad at me. <laughs> Oh, never again, dude. That's why being married is the best, bruh. Now that's my wife. Now, if she storms out of our apartment, I'm just like... Bitch, where are you really going? <laughs> I'm supposed to be scared? <laughs> oh no, what will I do with this time to myself? <laughs> I might have a panic attack from the peace and quiet. <laughs> Cut that shit out, girl. Go ahead and take your little walk. <laughs> but for real, be back by seven. There's a new Shark Tank coming on. I'm not. <laughs> There's a healthier hummus. I gotta see if Mark invests. But I'm still trying to have a healthy marriage. That's incredibly important, especially for brown dudes. I hope you're fucking working on you for her. Because I don't know if y'all know this, 
there's a lot of negative stereotypes about Indian dudes. We're uh, abusive and we're alcoholics and we're all assholes. And that's fucked up because it's not true. I mean, it was true in my house, but that, you know what I mean? <laughs> my house, not every house, you can't do that. But no matter what, you gotta be better, break the cycle. So I'm really growing a lot and I've learned things that nobody else will tell you, but I got you. Fellas, advice. If you are with wifey right now and you love her, the best thing you can do is to not care. <laughs> you see how you looked at him the second he started laughing? Don't look at her, bro. You, you, right? I'm right, right? Not care about like 90% of the things she wants you to care about. And it's not for the record because women are illogical or hysterical or any, any hacky shit like that. The fact is women are just more emotionally evolved than men. It's that simple. Absolutely. You know, I did not know, fellas, when your girl has an emotion, she expresses it. <laughs> what the hell is even that? That's insanity. That's not how men are raised. No, we are taught when you have a feeling, you bury it deep down in a dark place. And then every six months, you punch a hole in a wall, pretend nothing happened. <laughs> That's masculinity. So we're not used to a woman just having her emotions and letting them out. We keep trying to fix it. There's nothing to fix. Let her ride that roller coaster. You know what I mean? Oh, I love you so much. I can't. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. We never spend any time together! <laughs> Strap in, boys. She's on Space Mountain. <laughs> but the best way to allow her to do this is you do this. Like I said, she's on Space Mountain, living. You, it's a small world after. <laughs> I'm telling you, my wife is mad at me. The words just bounce off my forehead. <laughs> I can't believe you. No, yeah, me neither. I don't... <laughs> I'm not lying. I don't want to lie to my wife. I can't believe her because I wasn't listening. You understand? <laughs> it's honest. And that might sound callous to some women, but I promise you do not want a man as emotionally evolved as you. Can you imagine both people doing this? <laughs> Unsustainable. Picture for one second your man saying to you, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Collision course. <laughs> you know, another thing I do sometimes when uh, my wife and I are fighting is, uh, this is riskier. This takes a level of expertise to pull off. Uh, when my wife is upset at me, I will start smiling at her. I know, I know, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> it is initially received exactly how you're picturing. Are you fucking serious? I tell you how I feel and you laugh in my fucking face? I can't believe you don't even take me seriously. But like I said, I'm learning. So I explain to my wife. I say, look, baby, you don't understand. I don't take you completely seriously right now. I take your emotions very seriously. But the way you are expressing them, I understand that's just the best way you know how in this moment. And underneath that, I still see the pure, precious person that I married. And again, that's real, I see that. So now that she understands me, I then explain to her, also, if I took you completely seriously, I would have to beat you up. <laughs> sure who you think you're talking to. <laughs> it can't possibly be me. For real. 
Otherwise, I would have to fuck you up. Yeah, <laughs> and I know I can't fight, but I'll kick your ass. <laughs> You're talking a lot for someone who's 5'2". <laughs> nah, respect, that's real. This one, yeah. That's what I do during fights. You know what she does during fights? Is she'll accuse me of gaslighting her? What the hell is that doing? <laughs> I have actually learned what gaslighting is, fellas, and it's important that you learn too. Gaslighting is something women made up to win arguments. <laughs> okay, that's gaslighting. <laughs> It is effective, I gotta be honest. <laughs> My goodness. They use it like a draw four card in Uno. <laughs> Anytime they're losing, just gaslight. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Gaslighting is actually a real thing, but most dudes don't know because only dickheads do it. <laughs> Fellas, what gaslighting actually is, is um, sometimes a woman tells the man that she loves that he hurt her feelings, but instead of listening, he makes her think she's crazy. <laughs> and that is terrible to do. I would never do that to my wife. I love her. I just think the bitch don't listen sometimes. I mean, me neither, we're married. We listen all the time, it's insanity. <laughs> but I have to tell you, there is also Female gaslighting. Hmm, suddenly got strangely silent, did it not? <laughs> and you should know, every woman gaslights her man. But we don't catch it because they do it differently. <laughs> you know what female gaslighting is? That's when a man tells the woman he loves she hurt his feelings, and instead of listening, she makes him think he's gay. Have you guys... <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you ever been gaslit by the woman you love? <laughs> Where you finally get vulnerable like she's begged you to do? And you say, hey, that hurt my feelings. And she goes, <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Where did it hurt you? And you put a vagina. I am telling you, ladies, do not settle for less than a good guy. But if you get one, also know what we are going through. That's all I'm saying. If you have a good guy right now, can I tell you a secret that he will never share with you? He is tired. <laughs> let that motherfucker clap, yo. I fucking dare you to be clapping. Y'all ain't gonna let him be tired. No, what you fucking talking about? No, he's fine. I bet he tried to nap before the show and you're like, no, we don't have time. No, there's too much to do. We have to clean up because the cleaning ladies are coming. That's bullshit. I know what that is. They just make up these random tasks to ruin your REM cycle. And it's not your fault, but the job is tiring. Like, fellas, you ever be just in a room by yourself and all of a sudden you hear, babe. happens, aren't you kind of thinking, fuck! <laughs> Bro, it's been eight minutes! <laughs> what could you possibly want? Can I not even watch the highlights of the game you made me miss, bitch?
But that's not how you say it, because you're a good guy and you love her. So you say it differently. If you're like me, how do you say it? Yes, babe? <laughs> like a cuck. I die every time I do that. Because I'm lying to both of us. But that's my baby. I can't hurt her with honesty. So all of a sudden, I turn into customer service. Just thank you for calling. How can I help you? Fresh towels, y'all. See if we got some in the back. <laughs> Yeah, this was a legit intro, you know, definitely. Oh, yeah, the people dancing? Yeah. Girls dancing? Yeah, man. That's the way to come in, you know what I mean? And yeah. I had a little crowd work at the beginning, you know? Yeah, crowd work. Yeah. A little bit of uh, a... <laughs> you see, you can, you can hear a little bit of a... Uh, I think in the first first special, too, you hear a little bit of uh, Andrew in there. Yeah, man. Andrew Schultz. Yeah, you definitely get his style. Yeah, I guess it's, you know... Can't help it if you nigga got a podcast with him. <laughs> it's pretty much the same type of comedy. Yeah. Andrew's a little bit darker though. Yeah, 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 Schultz is a little darker, but yeah. But yeah, man, that's funny. He's a white Pakistani. <laughs> Stand up, <laughs> bro. Yeah, she was white. She looked white. I guess she was albino. Oh, Maybe man. With <laughs> she, was she albino uh, or she just blonde? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> See in the middle of her name and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, damn. Ah, okay. Okay, man. Yeah, man. A lot of um, yeah, a lot of you know. He, t he tells it. You know, what I mean, he tells it like it is. You know, what I mean, his experiences. Oh, yeah. You know, dealing with women and stuff like that. Yeah, his experience. Time. He said he dated one woman his whole life and he married her. Right. So you know, he's lucky. I guess you know, he's very fortunate for that. You know, all of it, just <laughs> You know, I mean, shit, that, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, as a man, you gotta have thick skin. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with your woman, you gotta have. Yeah. You know, you got. He said it's either on a roller coaster and you're on a even keel line. Yeah, you they're know what I mean. Magic Mountain. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That, that is true. <laughs> oh man, yeah, man, this is a funny special. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. 